Hi, I'm Chris with Horsepower Freaks, and I'm going to talk about what to do if you have an issue with your Horsepower Freaks Turbo Kit. One of the first things to do is go to our website and look at the troubleshooting section. The troubleshooting section has everything you need that we've compiled over the last five years of all the problems that people have had and exactly what to do to solve the issues. So here is the website, uh, and down at the bottom you'll see this big troubleshooting section. It says help. You click that. And on here, you can see vehicle running and then all of the different uh, options that can happen when your vehicle is running. You see white smoke comes out the exhaust after startup, white smoke coming out the exhaust, blue smoke, black smoke, excessive oil consumption, vehicle overboost, underboost, cons consistent excessive backfire, misfires, knock siren or detonation, vehicle loses power, idle surges, vehicle shuts off or runs lean or rich. These are all situations that can happen. It can happen to any car, but uh, what we've done is we've provided a way for you to look at these issues that are happening and with our system, since it's our engine management controlling the car, figure out what to do. So I'm going to take a look at the excessive oil consumption option. And right here, notice there's only a couple things in here, and it basically says, look under your car for oil, duh. And the other one is, um, if there's white smoke coming out the exhaust or blue smoke, go to those sections. So let's look at white smoke coming out of the exhaust, especially under boost. Now what you'll see here is um, a very thorough description of what to do and what could cause it. So here it's saying um, oil pump is not running. It shows you how to test it with our oil pump test harness. And then also we have videos. We often publish videos and pictures of exactly how to test each of these scenarios because not everybody is a mechanic and when you have your car um, it's not always easy to do these things. So I've had our techs rather than spend all day on the phone with people uh, actually document all of these w ways that your car might be burning oil. So might be an oil pump, might be the oil pump fuse, might be a faulty oil scavenge pump, uh, stuff related to the battery, um, and the harness. Uh, you can also have the bypass turbo return check line, oil lines are clogged, oil fuel pump harness not grounded properly, faulty turbocharger, dam damaged engine right here, uh, oil overfull, damaged OEM, oil condenser, damaged oil condenser drain line, yada yada, etc. Now, um, the reason that uh, I'm talking about this right now is because uh, in the case that you do have a problem with our kit and you go through these troubleshooting sections and you still can't resolve your issue, and we have for our Turbo Kit customers, we have their own tech line. It's a phone number that they get that they can call and they get right to uh, one of our techs that is going to be able to help them with their problems. Worst case scenario, um, you ship your car to us or send it to an authorized uh, HPF installer and they will take a look at your problem and fix it. So uh, in many cases if the car does come back to us we just fix it for free um, but uh, in some cases it, it really depends on what it is but uh, most of the time the issues that we have with our turbo kits are usually simple ones that can be uh, simply addressed via either the computer the troubleshooting section or over the phone. Now let's take uh, for example somebody that uh, does have their car built with a turbo kit and they decide to take it to somebody else uh, with these issues and then that other company decides to rip out the engine management system that's on it, rip out the fuel system, um, take out the change where the O2 sensors are going and then they decide to run a different type of fuel uh, like E85 with a flex fuel sensor and all of these things don't come with a car including maybe they run their own harness uh, and then, let's say they turn up the boost on the car and run even more boost than, than the car was originally designed to handle with our turbo kit. And then they drag race it, and then they put a whole bunch of miles on it, and then you call me up and say, uh, my motor blew. Um, at that point, it's on the owner's responsibility, and that really lies with the shop that actually did the work on your car after that. So. Um, we do take care of our customers and if the best thing to do when you have a problem 
is to let us know and we'll work with you to get that problem resolved. If you're going to take the car to somebody else and rip all of our stuff out and put other things in and run different types of fuels and run more boost and make even more power than we did, you know, it's buyer beware. So those are the types of things that aren't covered under warranty. And, uh, you know, for the most part, most of the problems are simple and they can be resolved with our troubleshooting section. So definitely if you haven't, if you have one of our turbo kits and you haven't looked at that troubleshooting section and you are having any kind of issue whatsoever, do that. And if that doesn't help, then call us and we will gladly help you work through any issues you might have.